Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna look at light dependent control circuits, otherwise known as switching circuits. So let's get started. Now, just like we saw for temperature dependent control circuits, there are also two types of light dependent control circuits. So these are the low light level and the high light level or low light intensity and high light intensity control circuits. And they work in a very similar way to the temperature dependent circuits, but we're no longer thinking about temperature changes in the external environment. We're now thinking about light level changes in the external environment. So this means we're no longer going to be using thermistors in our circuits. We're now going to be using a component that changes resistance in response to changes in light level, i.e. an LDR, a light dependent resistor. So if we have a look at the low light level control circuit to begin with, here is the control circuit here with an LDR on the bottom. Remember that is a resistor with two arrows pointing in towards it, showing the light going in towards it, and we've got a variable resistor as the upper component. We've then got a transistor, namely an NPN transistor here, and we've got an LED with a series resistor. So for low light level, we're going to talk about what happens when light intensity decreases, and we're going to go through the logical steps. So it says here, when light intensity decreases, the resistance of the LDR increases, and that comes from using the rule LERD, so light up, resistance down. But remember the opposite is also true so light down, resistance up, which is the case here. And this then causes the voltage across the LDR to increase. And remember that is because V is proportional to R. So whatever happens to the resistance happens to the voltage as well. So because the resistance of the LDR is increasing, then the voltage across the LDR needs to increase as well. It then says that when the voltage across the NPN transistor reaches 0.7 volts, it switches on. This in turn switches on the LED. So if we look at the circuit here, let's summarize that. So it's a low light level circuit. So we want to talk about what happens when light intensity decreases. So when light intensity goes down, the resistance of the LDR goes up. So the voltage across the LDR goes up. So that means the voltage across the transistor goes up as well, which then switches on the transistor. Now remember the rule that tells us the relationship between the voltage across this lower component and the voltage across the transistor. So remember the voltage across the lower component is equal to the voltage across the transistor and that helps us work out what's going on. Now here we have an example of a low light level control circuit where we've got an LDR on the bottom, variable resistor up the top, and we've got an NPN transistor and a bulb in this example. And you'll notice that right now we're in light conditions where the voltage is about 0.2 volts across the LDR. But you'll then notice if we go to dust conditions and light level drops, then you'll notice that the voltage across the lower component has increased across the LDR. And that means that our lamp has turned on. So we can go through the steps to explain how that works. So when light intensity decreases, the resistance of the LDR increases. So that means the voltage across the LDR increases. So the voltage across the NPN transistor increases as well, which then switches on and that in turn switches on the lamp. And you'll notice if we go to even darker conditions that the voltage across the LDR increases even more and our lamp still stays on. Now the second light dependent control circuit is the high light level control circuit, which looks at what happens when light level increases or light intensity increases. Now hopefully you'll notice the difference between this one and the first light level control circuit where the LDR and the variable resistor have now swapped positions. So we now have the variable resistor as the lower component and the LDR as the upper component. And again, we've got everything else being the exact same as before with the transistor and the LED. And we're now going to go through the steps to explain how this control circuit works when light level increases this time. So it says when light intensity increases, the resistance of the LDR decreases. And that is from using the rule LERD. So light up, resistance down. So if the resistance of the LDR decreases, then this causes the voltage across the LDR to decrease as well, because remember, V is proportional to R. So whatever happens to the resistance happens to the voltage. But this must mean that the voltage across the variable resistor increases because it's a potential divider circuit. So if we look at the circuit here, we're seeing that as light intensity increases, the resistance of the LDR decreases. And this means the voltage across the LDR decreases, which means that the voltage across the variable resistor increases. And that is because, remember, of the potential divider circuit we have here, which says that if the upper component is taking less of a share of the supply voltage now, then the lower component must be taking more of a share because the supply voltage just splits up across the two components. And so when the voltage across the NPN transistor reaches 0.7 volts, it switches on, and this in turn switches on the LED. So because the voltage across there is 
is increasing, we know the voltage across the lower component is equal to the voltage across the transistor, so that means this voltage is increasing as well, which will switch on the transistor, which in turn switches on the LED. Now I'm just going to show you an example of a high light level control circuit, so we're going to look at what happens here when light level increases. So notice that we're in dark conditions right now, the motor is off, and the voltage across my lower component is 0.2 volts. So when I go to daytime, you'll notice it increases my voltage across the lower component, but it's still not high enough to turn on my transistor. And then lastly, if we click sunshine, the light level increases enough to then switch on the motor. So this could be turning on something like a fan. So let's go through the steps and see why this has actually happened. So we can say that as light level increases, then the resistance of the LDR decreases, and that is because of LURD. So light up, resistance down. So that means the voltage across the LDR decreases as well, because V is proportional to R. And if the voltage across there decreases, then the voltage across the variable resistor as a lower component must increase. So if that increases, then the voltage across the transistor must increase, which in turn switches on our motor. Now again, just like we said for the temperature dependent circuits, we could also be using control circuits to switch devices off instead of turning them on. So just know that you could be expected to explain how something switches off. And lastly, if we look back at the notes, we've just got a couple of things to finish up with. So note 1 says that NPN transistors are used in all of the above control circuits that were in the notes, but MOSFETs could be used instead. These would switch on when the voltage across them reaches approximately 2.0 volts, though this can vary depending on the question, and we've seen a few cases where it's roughly 1.8 volts. Note 2 says that LEDs are used in all of the above control circuits, though bulbs, buzzers or motors are often used instead. So just know that you might see some of these other components in different questions on control circuits. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.